Hello. I was just outside and I saw the most uh, beautiful full full moon. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a perfect full moon, but um, it is beautiful. So um, I thought I would read Claire de Lune by Paul Verlaine. I don't speak uh, or read French. I, I I'm an English speaker. I don't, I don't I don't know any other language, so I'm a little hesitant to talk about French poetry, where the word choice and uh, sound um, in any language, uh, especially with poetry, is incredibly important. Um, but uh, the translation I have for Paul Verlaine, um, I like it anyway. Um, and, you know, like I, I think to myself, uh, especially not knowing French, how mysterious it is. It's the language of love and um, the very little uh, French phrases that I know and things like that are, um, they have a mystique of beauty to them. But, um, you know, Claire de Lune is a wonderful, beautiful phrase. And from what I understand, just from the facing pages that I have, it translates to light of the moon. And I think to myself, well, Claire de Lune sounds more beautiful. Um, <clears throat> but the, the title of, of the poem is Moonlight. And that's what I love about um, lo looking at facing pages and um, translation because moonlight is such a beautiful term um, I'll, re I'll read the poem uh, it's pretty short uh, so Claire de Lune or moonlight your soul is like a painter's landscape where charming masks and shepherd mummeries are playing lutes and dancing with an air of being sad in their fantastic guise. While, even while they sing, all in a minor key of love triumphant and life's careless boon, they seem in doubt of their felicity. Their song melts in the calm light of the moon. The lovely melancholy light that sets the little birds to dreaming in the tree and among the statue makes the jets of slender fountains sob with ecstasy. So it's a, a love, a love poem set under moonlight. And it's strange, lots of um, really out there imagery, uh, exotic, I guess uh, Verlaine's prob probably mostly known as like a symbolist, symbolist poet, I, th I think. I don't know. Um, and I, I once heard someone describe um, reading a translation as an echo. And that's always kind of stuck with me. And I read these French poems and I feel like I'm hearing beautiful echoes sort of one bounce off the original. Um, <clears throat> so it's a beautiful moonlit night um, and I read a beautiful moonlit poem um, and that's it, sort of a short video. Uh, it's by Paul Verlaine. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like.